All right, everyone, let's get the party started. Um, hello, and welcome to RimWorld. This is um, a world, a world building, no, a base building game, which I really enjoy on a bit of a quiet evening. It's, you know, a nice quiet game. Hello, Rachel, how you doing? I'm glad you can keep me company at my very first stream. I'm a little bit tired today because I'm in the middle of exams and exams are tiring and makes your head spin. <laughs> so this will be a little bit of a, a casual one. Um, and I hope that's all right with everyone. Um, let's just get started with a new colony. I have a little bit of a plan for what I want to do. So these are scenarios. This is kind of what you can choose to do. Um, and you know, like start with, this is like start stuff. We'll just kind of get into the game and you'll see how it works um, later. We're going to start with the crash landed one. This means that we will awake in our cryo sleep something something to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. Um, you barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later you land on this unknown rim world. So basically we start with three people chosen from eight people um, on the ship so you can kind of decide who you start with, look at their skills and that sort of thing. And then just play from there. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, now, I these are like difficulties and also storytellers. I always play with this one because she kind of does a, a classic increasing curve as it says here. Um, but I always play on this mode, which is for players who are new to this game or players who just want to build the perfect colony, um, which means that threats and stuff are lesser, um, which is great for when you wanna just relax, um, but it may be kind of a slightly boring stream. So what I'm thinking is we'll go for the rough one, which is recommended for players who are experienced with RimWorld and looking to play a rough story requiring skills to survive, which I'm not sure if I qualify as an experienced player, but if we die, that might just be fun anyway. So we're gonna go for it and see what happens. Um, our commitment mode, okay. Um, we can reload any time. It's been a while since I've played this game, so I might just like, I don't know, forget everything. This is like the world that we create. I haven't quite understood it ever, to be honest, so I never really bother with that. But now we are generating our world, which we shall live on. Um, and yes, Rachel, this is very nice and relaxing so far. Um, yes, this is our world. All right, so. All of these are different biomes that we can choose to live in. Uh, and then all of these guys are friendlies, uh, camps and stuff, and then not friendly people. So we wanna kind of be close-ish to a road if we ever wanna travel, um, not too close to enemies so that they constantly attack us because if we're like really close to the enemies, they'll attack us more than normal, which we don't want. Um, and yeah. I usually go for this kind of an area, I think, like temperate forest. Sometimes I go for boreal forest as well, because there's a little bit more of a cold kind of scenario there. Um, let's have a look at this place. I kind of like the look of like this general area, maybe. Um, these things are mountains, so if we want to have like a little bit of a mountain map, we can do that as well. Um, let's have a look. Small hills, we can do sandstone and slate building. Growing period is 40 of the 60 days. So that is like how long we can grow food and stuff. Rainfall, vegetables, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let's just go for this one. Nice and easy to start with. Okay, so <laughs> this is our character ability thing. Um, and you can randomize over here if you don't like the look of these guys. And then this is the skills that we have um, in our team. And then this is the skills that we have as a whole. So let's just try and find a good mix here. I already like this person because she has very good cooking skills, but she is incapable of violence which if we're gonna be attacked a lot, basically means she can't hold a gun and she can't defend herself, which is really, really annoying. So we'll see if we can find a better cook. Um, this person is really good at crafting, which is great for like building. It's basically, well, no, sorry, that's not building. Construction is building. Crafting is more like, yeah, making weapons and stuff. It says right there, saying that just read what it says. Um, but it's not like super relevant in the early game. So we might just not use her right away. 
Uh, this person is good. Good at shooting, good at construction, also good at social, so they could, like, um, yeah, negotiate, convince, and that sort of thing. So we will probably keep you. I'm going to move you to the top. Um, let's have a look. Animals is kind of interesting, because you can, like, train and tame the animals on the map to, like, um, do your bidding. They can haul stuff around the map, and they, um, like, if it's a cow, they'll have milk and stuff. It's a very, very detailed game and kind of hard to get into, but it's really fun once you get into it. Uh, you're kind of useless, to be honest. Um, these flames, by the way, is what they're, like, interested in, so they'll get, like, uh, a, like, happiness buff if they get to do what they enjoy doing. Uh, we might use you as the cook unless there's no better cooks around. Doesn't really look like it. Uh, we've got a little bit of a an odd mix here, to be honest. Let's see. Um, she's psychiatrical, no, psychically sensitive. I probably mispronounced that. Um, that basically means that she will, you know, have psychic problems, psychic problems, psychological problems, um, which is kind of annoying as well. Um, you're an entrepreneur. Good. You seem pretty useless. All of you guys seems pretty useless. This is not a great start. Um, so we'll definitely keep this person for the construction. So we need a good cook and we need a good medic. So let's just kind of randomize here and see what we get. Um, you're really good at mining, which can be good in some uh, scenarios. You're really good at medical and mining and construction. Okay, you're good. She can't do firefighting, but to be honest, that doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to put you up there and that was... What was your thing? You were the cook, right. Um, maybe we'll just... Oh yeah, no, sorry. You were the one incapable of violence. I don't really like that. You have a lot of skills. Cooking level six, you can do planting. That's really useful, actually. She's also incapable of violence. Uh, no, he's also incapable of violence, sorry. Uh, we'll put you down here. And then if we don't get someone better who is uh, capable of violence, then we'll use you, I guess. Mm. Let's see, we're looking for a cook. Uh, no. You're cooking level five. I kind of want someone who's good at cooking and planting because then they can kind of be responsible for the food. There we go. <laughs> cooking and plants, both passions. Um, she's not incapable of violence, which is great. She's an undergrounder. Uh, she doesn't need to experience the outdoors or light. Good. Um, and she's naturally upbeat about her situation. You seem very nice. Um, so we're not a very intellectual group of people, but that should be pretty all right, I think. Um, yeah, let's just get started. Let's generate our map and see how this works out. The three of you awake in your cryo sleep somethings that I can't pronounce to the sound of sirens. We've already read this, so I don't know why I'm reading it again. Um, welcome to the map. We are just landing. Here we are. Hello, everyone. Oh, we have a dog and his name is Fred. Hello, Fred. I love you already. Okay, so this is the map that we have found ourselves in. Um, kind of a an interesting place to start. Usually there are like, yeah, like right over here, there are a couple of buildings and a nice area of soil where we can grow some plants. So we'll probably just start our camp over here in these areas um, and then go from there. Um, if you have been playing RimWorld yourself, you might notice that I have some mods and stuff installed, but they're not like big mods that make a big change to the game. So nothing to worry about. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is unforbid everything on the map, which basically means people can now interact with this. Um, let's have a look. You were not very good at shooting. Did we have a knife or something like that? Uh, yeah, there's a knife under you. You go and equip that. You're alright at shooting. You're alright at shooting. You go equip that and you go equip that. And then our first order of business should be to move all of our supplies somewhere. Um, in here maybe, and then use this little area as like a first bedroom kind of a place. So let's start by doing that. Uh, structure, I want a door there, and I want a wall there, and I want a wall there, and I want a door there. 
And then I want to create a stockpile zone for all of our shit in here. And then I'd also like to not select all of that, please, but select these rocks and have them hauled away. Um, and for people to actually haul stuff away, we need to create a dumping zone for that sort of stuff. So let's just make our dumping zone like there. That should be fine. Okay, um, before I unpause as well, we do need uh, the work tab and sort out everyone's priorities. So this is the um, work priorities. It's basically, as in any other game, it prioritizes what people do first. Um, so everyone is gonna have firefighting and patient on number one, meaning if a fire breaks out or if they get ill, they'll do that first. Um, Lolita is our medic, so she'll do doctoring on a first, and what other stuff did we want you to do? I've already forgotten. Um, you're our constructor? Our only constructor? No, you're a constructor as well. Okay, I'm gonna start with Grace because she was the easy one. Grace, you are gonna be our chef, and you're gonna grow, and you're gonna cut. Uh, and after that you can haul stuff. Uh, and then I usually just set everything else on a four because if they're not assigned on these things, I can't make them manually do it, which is kind of annoying. Um, so yeah, I usually do that. That should be fine for Grace for now. Uh, then we have Lolita, which was our medic, yes, and our miner as well. I don't think we're going to be doing a lot of mining, um, but I guess we can set mining on a one and construction as well, maybe? Let's have a look. If we do mining on a one on you, construction on a Two. Um, you can be our hauler as well, actually. You can do hauling before you do construction. And then you are our constructor, so you'll do that first. And you are also a good warden. Um, that means that um, uh, when we get prisoners and stuff, she'll go and take care of them. Uh, and then, yeah, hauling should be on a two for you as well. And then all of these on a four. Uh, there. All that on a four. Okay, off you go. Do the things that I told you to do. It's all right that you were gone for a little while, Rachel. I've just explained how the whole game works, so now you'll get really confused um, <laughs> when I do stuff. Um, but that's fine. Let's have a look. Um, we want to create a grow zone over here so that we start making food right away. Uh, and I want this to be rice because it grows quickly. Um, so that would be good. I'm gonna make this thing a little bit smaller because you're a bit in the way, my friend. Let's just kind of plonk you up here like uh, that. Lovely. So what is everyone doing? You're building that, which is great. Uh, oh yeah, we need beds as well. Maybe, I hope we have enough wood. Ah, uh, we don't have enough wood already to build these beds. Eh, let's not build these then, hang on. Controls are hard. Let's build uh, beds like that. These are just sleeping spots, which means they'll go and sleep there uh, if there are no beds. And we should probably also have a animal sleeping spot as well so that our dog has somewhere to sleep. Lovely Fred. Hello, Fred, how are you doing? Uh, good, Grace is off doing her building thing. Um, let's have a think. What do we want this base to be? So basically the like goal of this game, I guess, is to get enough materials and stuff to build a ship so that you can go back into space and rejoin your fellow space companions. Um, we definitely need a place to protect ourselves from. What? We need a way to protect ourselves from enemies. So let's have a look. If we go to planning mode, it would be really good if we would be able to like uh, wall this in because enemies kind of try and destroy your food, which is really annoying actually. <laughs> um, and we won't be able to afford food being destroyed. So if we have that as like our original first little base area, that would be great. And then we could do like a little bit of a double door system where like that or something. And then we, uh, hang on. If we do like this, wait, that was all wrong. 
like this, then we have a door here and a door here and a door here and a door here. Why do we need three to four doors? We don't. Let's remove, that was the wrong thing to remove, remove that. Uh, we have a door here and a door here. And then this becomes like a protective zone. We can do like traps around here and have like sandbags that we can hide behind and stuff. It's annoying me that that thing is not in the middle. Um, if we do that instead, like so, we can do uh, four, four, there, there. That looks better. I don't know why I didn't just do that originally, but there we go. Now, again, I did the wrong thing because I want this to be the entrance, not the other place. Blimey, this is hard. There we go. Yeah, so go out there and do stuff. And then we can mostly just live in here. That'd be really good. Um, let's just start planning out that first little area, I think. If we manage to get this going, that would be really good for us, protection-wise. I'm really very, very worried about playing on this difficulty because I have a feeling that we're just gonna die as soon as the first raid arrives. Um, because that's a thing in this game, you get raided and people wanna kill you and stuff, which isn't great fun. Um, but yeah, if we do like sandbag, 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 and then we do walls here, um, the guys can walk over the sandbags, so it's not going to be like we can't get out or anything, uh, which is good. And then we will also need, in security, we need some traps around here. Some traps like so, around this general area. Maybe a couple of more up, up the front. Um, I just did one too little there. There we go. That looks pretty good for now. You're just building the stuff, that's really good. We're probably gonna run out of wood in a minute, so I'm gonna ask someone to do all of the wood cutting once Grace is finished with um, that planting. She'll be doing some wood cutting. What are you doing, Lolita? You are cloud watching, lovely. I can't cloud watch because I'm looking from the clouds. I am your god. I'm gonna speed up the game here a little bit so that we get the building done. Um, it says here that Hunter lack, lacks ranged weapon on Grace, but why? Oh, right, sorry, it's because I've set you to being a hunter. Uh, where is hunting? Hunting, hunting, here. Yeah, let's just remove Grace from hunting altogether. Uh, how are we doing for meals? We have eight meals currently. You can also see that up here. Um, oh yeah, sorry, it's because we haven't hauled any of this. Let's haul all of our original supplies urgently, uh, which is a separate tab here that I usually set on one for everyone. So that as soon as I ask them to do something urgently, everyone just holds it right away, which is really quite useful. Um, actually, pause. You, can you wear that? And can you wear that? And you've already put on the, uh, what is that called? Flak vest. You've already put that on on your own, which is good. We're gonna need to kill this thing because uh, don't tame it, hunt it, um, because it's not gotten now gotten stuck in this area, which is kind of annoying. Um, but that's fine. We can deal. Um, the sun is setting on our first day. It's currently six o'clock, which is nice, good for us. I'm glad that these guys kind of realized that we were taking over their area and just got out of the way because it would have been really annoying if all of these guys got stuck on the inside of our base. Good, good, good. Everyone is just doing all of the hauling that I told them to do. I am gonna have a sip of water. That was a good sip of water. And everyone is off to bed, as are all of the animals on the entire map. We can actually have a look at the wildlife on the map on this tab. These are all the wild things that we can hunt here or tame here if we want to. Very exciting. I don't think we're quite ready to do any kind of taming just yet, but that's fine. Oh, we're auto-saving. Come on, everyone. Time to wake up. 
It's morning. It's seven o'clock. Oh, speaking of time to get up, we should probably um, here at restrict. I kind of don't mind when you get up. You can get up as soon as you're ready to. Uh, I would like you to do an hour of recreation before you go to sleep and then just do whatever needs doing really after that. Uh, Gracie is back to doing planting, which is good. You're building all our traps, fantastic. We're gonna need them in not too long. I think it's like on the third day that our first raid arrives, but I'm not quite sure about that yet. I also don't know if that like changes um, with the difficulty level, I'm assuming we shall see. Um, another thing that we really need is power. Um, now, wind turbines are great for power because they kind of give you power at all times. Um, so I might just try and put one of them in quite quickly because power is also nice for uh, when we need to start. Let's have a look. Production, yeah. We need a stove and stuff to do, uh, make our own food uh, because they start getting annoyed if they just eat raw rice and that sort of thing. And we don't want them to get annoyed, do we? No, we don't. Um, let's see, where would we want that sort of thing to be? If we, for instance, have this, oh, that was a double line. Did not mean for that to be a double line. Uh, and also that was the wrong line to remove because this one goes over our crops. Um, if we do this as like our main living space, we could have like a little kitchen. Ooh, that's just not big enough for a little kitchen. Well, I guess we could do it the other way around. Um, if we do it like this, then we can fit a little kitchen thing in there because they're three by one. We can do another kitchen thing there. Uh, and then this could be like, hmm, where everyone stores food, question mark? Maybe? This is not a very big base. And then if we like expand on this room, so let's say that this room becomes like that big or something like that, then this could be our main like living room where there's a table for people to eat. So they'll just run in here, grab food and run back out. Um, and then we could do like bedrooms over here. Uh, bedrooms need to be five by five, I'm pretty sure for them to be happy. So, if we do that and then do five there. Oh, that was definitely the wrong thing to press. Five, yeah, that's six there. Okay, so there, and then that doesn't really work as well as I was hoping it to. Um, we'll see about bedrooms eventually. We'll deal with this for now. We could also do bedrooms down here maybe. Do like a there. I really do not like this planning tool. It's kind of annoying. Do one bedroom here, do another bedroom there. That works out really well, actually. Um, could we maybe do one? Hmm. We just can't do two bedrooms there. That's too bad. Maybe we'll extend this out one so that we can do some more bedrooms around here. We shall have a look. For now, Gracie is back in bed already, taking a little nap. You are building our traps still, which is lovely. Um, come on, guys. I really just want you to get this like original first structure in so that we make sure that the first oh visitors um so that the first uh raid comes in from the top so that we are prepared let's have a look hello can we um trade with you yeah we can okay cool let's go do that actually let's not do that right away let's wait until he's in our base because trading they just kind of drop the stuff straight away and if he drops it over here, then we have to haul it all the way in, which would be quite uh, kind of annoying. All right, there we go. Now let's trade with him. Let's see what you have. You can give us pemmican, which is food, herbal meds, which are medication. Um, we have an extra pair of pants that we could sell you, but I don't really see why we would. And you do not want our puppy, which is fair. Uh, we also love our puppy, so... We don't really want to give away our puppy. No, you're kind of boring, my friend. Sorry. Um, could you maybe pretty please prioritize like these things for me? Because I really want this wall <laughs> to get ready. Uh, Gracie is prioritizing hauling all the wood to these walls, which is great because that means that um, 
one psalm, one psalm, I don't know, one psalm is um, gonna prioritize building the things that already have materials. So hopefully tomorrow when he wakes up, he's just gonna go like zoop and then this wall will be done. I hope that's what he's gonna do anyway. We shall see, we shall see. But for now, everyone has gone to bed once again. I'm really very worried about this raid. I have no idea if it's gonna be a lot of people or not. I've watched quite a few like RimWorld playthroughs in my time and it seems like raids just get completely crazy after a while, like 30 people against five and that sort of thing, which we are not ready for at all. Yeah, there you go. You're just building that right away as you got up. I love that. Great. Okay, now we're slightly protected, which is good. Um, that means that once the raid starts, we'll... Oh! And um, we can create a name for our faction. Um, yes, once the raid starts, we'll just go up to our sandbags and we'll be completely protected and we can kill them from there. Um, I don't really care about what this faction is going to be called, to be honest. So let's just go with whatever the game said and call it a day. Um, I would also like us to... Let's see. Oh, what? Are, what's... Oh, right. Can we sort out the fire, please? That's like burning our food. Thank you. Yeah, you just went to kill that thing, um, which is good and all, but we don't really want to kill freaking, what are you called? Boom rats that explode when they die inside our house. But I guess I was the one to tell you to do that, so it's kind of my fault as well. Um, okay, so you basically don't have anything else to do right now, buildy friend. So I'm gonna have stuff for you to do. Uh, let's see. One over, two over like that. Sure. One, two, three, four. Oh, crap. I've done that all wrong. Hang on. Hang on. Stop, 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 stop. It's all wrong. It's all terrible. I hate it. Go away. So we need one, two, three, four, five. There. One, two, three, four, five. And we need that to be there. And then we'd need uh, one, two, three, four, five there that's the size we want all right <laughs> let's see here delete all of that put that in there now you should be five by five. Oh, five by six okay because life is hard and then you die <laughs> there we go so that should be like this are you right now you're five and you're five yes you are now right good this planning tool really is not the best. Um, all right, so we'd have to build a little bit of a wall there to make these two bedrooms, but I think we can do that. Let's have a look. Um, <laughs> Rachel is asking who is attacking us, and it is not aliens, Rachel, although that would be fun. Um, it's actually other factions that already live on this world, um, uh, which is, you know, kind of fair. We don't belong here, and they're attacking us. I'm assuming for that reason. I don't really know. Um, they want our supplies. They don't like us. And they're going to attack us. Which is kind of sad. Okay, now you're building that with all of the lovely wood that we have gathered. I would actually like us to harvest some more wood if we can. All of the wood like around our base can just be cut whenever there is time. Uh, are you going to bed as well? No, you're just walking around. Good. What are you doing? No, I want to click on you. What are you doing? Oh, I didn't have time to check. That's kind of sad. Um, does this mean that I have m misplanned this area as well? No, you're five times five there. So that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five there. And then we have a tiny little who the frick knows kind of room up here. There's a mad hare! Oh no, a local hare has gone mad. It will attack everything it sees. Why have you gone mad, my friend? What is your problem? You don't have any pain or anything. So you've just kind of literally just gone mad, which is great. Um, it's basically just going to slowly come down here and attack you. Oh, you're going to hunt it. Okay, brilliant. Go do that. No, dude, hunt this one. Yeah, hunt that one. Hang on. Um... That just made me remember this. No, not that. Uh, where is the 
thing that I am thinking of right now here. Um, so this basically determines if we're gonna flee or attack when an enemy is nearby and we obviously want to attack it because that just makes sense. So Lolita, please go and attack the thing. Oh, you're gonna attack the thing as well. Please don't get hurt, please don't get hurt. You've got bitten by a hair. Hopefully you'll kill it as well, that would be helpful. There you go, you killed it, good job. Lolita didn't even need to help. Um, we can also just make a stockpile zone here for now. Let's clear all of the stuff to put in it. We don't want rotten things in here. We want all the food and we want meat as well. Or like corpses. We want animal corpses, uh, raw food. Yeah, cool. That's all we want in there. And we also want that to be inside a structure because if it's not inside a structure, it'll all rot, which we don't want it to. And we'll have a door and a door and we'll also have a door and a door. Cool. You've got lots of things to build now, my friend, when you wake back up. So enjoy that. Lolita is just sorting out Onasan, I'm assuming. I should have renamed him to something that I can pronounce, but you know, that's fine. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um. It's getting kind of late, guys. Are you not going to go to bed yet? When did I say that you should be going to bed? Uh, oh, at 10. So now, basically. Go to bed. Come on, Gracie. Go to bed. No, Gracie is just loving cutting those trees. She's not going to go to bed. That's fair. And you're up to eat and back to building. Maybe it wasn't a great idea to tell them to like do whatever they wanted. Um, <laughs> Because now they're all sleeping at different times. Um, you're building really fast, my friend. It's kind of scaring me. Okay, you've built this, which is great. Because that means that we can ask you to deconstruct that bit. Uh, and then we'll have our first bedroom ready. Bedroom with grass in it. But a bedroom nonetheless. And we want a couple of beds in there. And an end table if we can. How warm is it? It's 15 degrees currently, so they don't need a lamp just yet, which is helpful. Uh, you're just building a roof. I'm also gonna just tell you to build this, uh, this here structure right away, because you're just really fast at this building, dude. I can't keep up with your planning. Uh, and then we need to build this, and we'll want a door like there-ish. Uh, and were these done? Five? Nope, I've missed done that once again. <laughs> uh, let's do the plan there. Remove you. Actually, let's not do that. Let's start from up here because that makes way more sense. There. Now you're five and five, yes. And fuck off with that. And then one, two, three, four, five there. You wanna go there. And then we can just kind of extend this stockpile area instead of having a random little room up here. That was, makes so much more sense. Um, yeah, so we want to do that. And we want to do this. And we want to do that. And we want a couple of wooden doors. And I just got some kind of a notification. You have detected a cluster of cargo pods crashing nearby. Okay. Plasteel. We don't really need that right now, but... We'll hold that at some point. It's not too far away. Oh, and our beds are in place already. That went really quickly. Okay, cool. We just want one more bed then, and then everyone has their own bedroom. How lovely. Um, Hang on, hang on, hang on. Pause, 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 pause. This is all wrong. I've done it wrong again. I've done it wrong again. This bedroom is too small. <laughs> um, Let's cancel these plans. Sorry, Lolita, I do apologize. And then we need one, two, wait, can I cancel, cancel you there uh, and cancel, cancel you. One, two, door, one, two, there. That's five, that's five. Chris, <laughs> this is hard apparently. Um, did I make that into a door? I'm not sure if I did. Now it's a door. 
and then we also want to deconstruct that wall right there lovely Um, so this area, we'd, we'd really want to get this area cooled at some point, which to do that we obviously need power, electricity, all of that good stuff. Um, let's have a look. Can you fit in here by any chance? No, of course you can't. I also just have forgotten, there we go, what the turny button is. So if we build our base out a little bit at some point, we can put a windmill in here which would be really useful because already we're struggling for room so as soon as the raid has arrived and we have a little bit of breathing room we might just extend our base down here a little bit but yeah so far so good this is what rim world is all about oh gracie is doing our first harvest of rice this is great we're doing really well i think until the first raid arrives and then everyone's gonna die and we're gonna have to restart on a lower difficulty i don't know i'm very worried about this raid <laughs> hmm. okay let's see if this all of this bedroom stuff works out the way it's supposed to i think so but i did also think so the last two times so who knows there needs to be a bed in those two areas and also an end table because I gave an end to table to the others. Lovely. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want you to build a roof um, over there because that means there won't be any light for our plants, you idiot. I don't want a roof in that area. Stop it right now. Yeah, because now these guys... Um, well, these ones are ready to harvest, so they're not going to grow anyway. But please remove the roof. We kind of need to have our plants grow. It's quite, quite an important part of a colony. Okay, let's select all of these things and deconstruct them. And also deconstruct that animal sleeping spot. Because we now have... Well, we have two beds. Actually, could you prioritize working on the bed so that we have three beds for everyone? Uh, and then we need an animal sleeping spot somewhere else. I guess you can sleep here, Fred, for now. And then we want to deconstruct that whole area. And we also want to remove these here floors um, and make this into a lovely little living space for us. Um, I was just about to ask why you're not doing any cooking. And then I realized, obviously, it's because there is no cooking related things. Let's have a look. Production. First off, we need a butcher table. So the butcher table shall be here. Which needs the most space? The butcher table or the oven? Eh, I guess the oven can get the most space. So the question is if we want to build a fuel stove first and just have that as a start before we get to the whole electricity thing it will take up quite a bit of steel which is kind of annoying how much steel do we have oh we have a lot of steel well you know what we're gonna build one so that we can start getting some food production going and these guys don't have to just eat like raw rice which they don't really like um which i can see why and we also only have three more meals left so i think that would be very good for us you've now built all of these beds that's amazing um can we get some floors in here let's have a look um we could do wooden floors but that doesn't do anything for like the quality of the room so oh no oh no a group of tribes people from that tribe has arrived nearby they're attacking immediately i'm really scared to see how many people there are let's have a look oh pfft. there's one person dude i've been dreading this raid for days and it's just Pelican over here with a fucking knife. Seriously? Seriously? Okay. Well, everyone, let me let me draft you. Put you in defensive positions. And we'll see what happens as Pelican here um, makes his way up to our base. Why are you just standing there? Oh, no, you start moving again. That's good. Yeah, we're going to destroy you. You're just going to die on one of these traps as soon as you come around the corner, I bet. Let's have a look. <laughs> Are you gonna... No, you're not gonna hit any of our traps. Well, great. That was a shot at him, at least. You're 
gonna die, my friend. Gracie's just not doing anything with that knife. Gracie, can you, like, get in here and attack with your knife against his knife? Um, there we go. Ooh! Ooh! He's knocked unconscious! He's dead in six, no, nine hours, sorry. But that means we can have a prisoner already, um, which is really good. Lolita, can you capture him, please? And then we want to haul that. Um, so now this has become a prison cell and we're gonna capture a prisoner. And it takes like a really long time now um, in the new updated version of this game to get a prisoner because before it was just like recruitment difficulty and there was like, here it's like a certain percentage of a chance for you to recruit the prisoner every time you go talk to them. But now there's this thing called resistance, which we have to like break his resistance before we get to the percentage. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this to reduce redis resistance, which means that whoever is our warden, um, this guy, whenever he goes to give him food and stuff, he'll kind of try and you know, reduce his redis resistance and eventually we will get a new guy in our colony. Also we have no storage space for that thing because this area is getting too small, um, which is an interesting problem to have. Um, let's just immediately then start looking to expand our base. Uh, if we just do like this, this can be our new base, then we have to go through here to get to this area, but that's perfectly fine. Um, and then we could have like a really, really big storage room, just extend this down. Uh, and then maybe we can get another bedroom in here before we get to the storage room. We'll see how that works out. But for now, we're just gonna build this. Um, and everyone is in bed. How are we doing health-wise, by the way? Oh my God, oh my God, Lolita is dead in three hours. Um, who is, um, Gracie, can you maybe please, how are you doing? Oh, you're in no immediate danger. Can you please like prioritize tending to her because she's about to die. Um, and I'd rather she didn't, to be very honest with you. Death in three hours. Come on, Gracie. You can do it. Death in two hours, death in ten hours. Okay, I think we're gonna do all right. There we go. Um, can you also prioritize tending to Pelican because he's also dying pretty soon. Um, she's not gonna use medicine on a prisoner, but we should be able to save him nonetheless. Death in six hours, death in eight hours. Yeah, this is gonna be fine. Death in seven hours, okay, maybe it's not gonna be fine. <laughs> okay, good. This is a wild ride, this one. There we go, no immediate danger, lovely. Um, Yeah, these guys are just kind of moving stuff around and we're about to start eating raw rice, which no one likes. Can you get up and prioritize that, please? Um, And then also we're gonna add a bill to butcher creature and we will do that forever. So whenever there is a corpse here, um, I think it was Gracie who was our cook. Um, yeah, every time there's a corpse in here, Gracie will go and butcher that. Um, and we also have our stove sorted out, which needs wood to work since it's a fueled stove. We're gonna make simple meals and we're gonna have, let's see, we're three people and they eat two meals every day. So that's six meals a day. Um, and I can't quite remember how long they stay fresh for when they're not refrigerated. I don't think it's too many days. So, Let's say we make sure we always have 12 meals and then we unpause when we have six meals, then we always have a day's worth of food. Yeah, I think that should be good. And then we wanna make sure that you just grab stuff from this area. Cool, that should be that set up. Um, as long as we, you know, get wood to the thing. Where have you gone? Oh, you're building down here. I completely forgot that we were expanding this area. <laughs> Oh no, Gracie has gotten sick from an infection. That is not good. Um, Lolita, can you come here and prioritize tending to her like right away, please? Because we cannot afford anyone to die right now and infections are not good in this game. <laughs> Let's see, um, infection, minor infection. Right now she has 7% immunity and the infection is at 10%. So that basically means it's not looking great. It, the um, immunity needs to be larger than the infection. 
as far as I remember, for them to survive. Oh, there we go. Immunity is at 15 and it's going up a little bit faster than the infection. Hopefully she'll be fine. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, you've luckily not got any kind of infection. How are your traits, by the way? Oh my goodness. Your shooting is amazing, Mr. Pelican. If we get you into this colony, we're going to have such a good time. We're never going to die, ever. I really want you now. Um, let's also have someone come here and deconstruct this wall now that we're building this wall out. Um, and I don't think we should get a new raid in a little while. What are you doing? You're hauling stuff. Can you... Prioritize just deconstructing these walls for me. I'm just gonna make you do it manually because I want you to do it. Um, and then there'll be a little bit of extra wood for us to use on building our new wall, which will be great. Come on, just get it done. There we go, lovely. Um, Onasan is sleeping, which isn't great because I would rather him just build this to be honest. I don't know why I made a wall there when I could have just dragged it all the way down, um, but I did. So there's that. Maybe if we actually like, um, I was going to say if we redo this so that we follow this line down, that might be better uh, in terms of, yeah, then we have like a little walkway here that they can get around as well. I'm doing a lot of deconstructing and reconstructing here, which I don't normally do, but I guess that's what we're doing. I'm going to deconstruct that. We need, oh, hang on. No, because we need, no, we need that wall. No, we need this wall to stay in place. And then that will be the hallway. And then this is the wall we're going to follow. I'm confusing myself right now. So there, we need that wall to be a thing this wall might be a thing at some point. I mean, we can just keep that wall there and see what happens, but deconstruct that, deconstruct that, build this here, deconstruct this. We do want to keep uh, that wall because that's a part of this bedroom. Yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> Why is everyone just casually dying from Rachel? Um, well, we were stabbed in, um, with a knife from Mr. Pelican here when he attacked. So apparently knives are more dangerous than we thought. Um, how are you doing actually, Gracie, now? Your immunity is 46% and your infection is 35. So that should be all right. Do you need tending again yet, um, Lolita? Yeah, let's prioritize tending to Gracie, make sure she doesn't die. That would be very useful. I'm actually gonna put Lolita's doctoring up to a one as well so that she does go do that immediately as soon as Gracie needs tending. Um, looks like we're doing some more building. Could we please just deconstruct all of this stuff? It's kind of annoying that it's just there. It's kind of also annoying that I'm doing this manually, but here we are. Good job. Now have another one. Nice. Another one. And another one. And, and another one. <laughs> and then there's this one over here as well. Good job, there's also that one. And this one. And this one. And the last one, maybe. I'm probably gonna deconstruct this wall at some point as well. If we're gonna make this into another bedroom, which we might do. Food binge on Onasan. Oh no, it's because I, I didn't let him go do what he wanted to do. Um, well, that's also because of that. Um, so he's now on a mental break, as you can see from up here. He has a little symbol of a mental break, which means everything was a bit too much for him. He couldn't handle it. And now he's just going to go eat all of our food, which is great. It's just great. <laughs> um, also, let's make sure you get all of the rotten corpses out of our base, please. And put it into our dumping ground. Uh, what else do we need? Oh yeah, it was the thing with the power. Let's have a look. Wind turbine. We would like a wind turbine, please. Shall we put it at the bottom here and then drag power up? I mean, it's gonna cost us a little bit more steel to drag power up um, because of the wiring and stuff, but then it's not in the way for this. Um, if we put it like right here, I think that'll be okay as well. 
Yeah, let's put one right there. We could also put one on this side, I think. Um, I'm not sure if people can get through there then, though. He's obviously a stress eater. Um, yes, Onisan is clearly a stress eater. I think he had a, um, a trait for that as well. Onisan's life revolves around food. Oh, it's a she! Sorry, Onisan. I've been calling you he this whole time. I do apologize. She gets hungry quickly and will occasionally be, be occasionally be overcome with the urge to eat ravenously, even when not hungry. Yeah. Okay, so it's a she. Let's try and remember that. Does that mean we only have female colonists? Um, female colonist, female colonist. We only have females. A colony of badass females here, ladies and gentlemen. Lovely. Um, are you? Can you be done with your freaking mental break? There's so much stuff that needs building, dude. And I want you to do it right now. Ugh, that's so annoying. Um, at least Gracie is really working hard on that rice. I think we can make this rice into uh, potatoes because our rice is growing really quickly and I'm not sure we'll be able to um, eat it all before it starts rotting. Um, and potatoes take a little bit longer to make so maybe we'll be able to keep more on top of that. Hopefully anyway. Uh, we do have quite a lot of slate blocks lying around. How much is slate flooring? Uh, slate tile. Four blocks per tile. That's quite a lot. What is this floor? This is metal tile. Uh, Alright, we won't be able to match that. But yeah, already just building that is more uh, slate blocks than we have per now. Which is kind of sad. I was hoping we could do some um, flooring, but apparently not. Let's remove all of the flooring here because there's no point in this area being full of floor. Um, Lolita is fully healed, lovely, and your um, yeah, your infection is uh, wow, well, I can't speak. Apparently, my brain is a little bit dead. His, she, her <coughs> infection has developed immunity. Um, well, she's developed immunity to her infection, so. Good. That took me a while to get out correctly. I do apologize. I've written like 800 words on my assignment today, and I've written like 3,500 words in total since Monday on this assignment, and I've been reading theory um, to make sure that I'm what I'm writing is actually correct, because my assignment is very theory-heavy. It's basically like... Um, uh, like look at this theory and tell me what's different between this theory and this other theory so I need to know the theory pretty well uh, and yeah so now my brain is just fuzzy okay so this thing is now going to create power for us we're going to drag it up here and then we need to find somewhere we can store some batteries and um, we could just do one battery here because I think that's all we'll need for the time being oh we don't have batteries do we Ugh, that's not great. I think we need to research batteries. Let me have a look. Um, we need to build a research bench, which I do know. Um, let's see. Batteries, batteries. Solar panel. Battery. Yeah, we need to research that. Um, so let's build a research station. I think that's in production. Simple research bench. Yeah, we need one of these. Um, where is our research area going to be? If we do like a couple of more bedrooms here, we could do like storage and then um, building things down here, maybe. So if we do a research bench there, we can do a door to it there. Who shall do research? Mm. Let's see. Maybe Onasan when she's done with construction? Hmm. Maybe she's not very good at it though. Gracie is better. We'll put it on Gracie for now. She's never going to get to it, but we'll see. And yes, Rachel, it is a very emotional time with exams. It's it's a hard knock life <laughs> and I'm struggling right now. I've had a home exam all of last week and a bit of the week before, like a 10 day home exam. And now I'm having a home exam all of this week until Monday. And then I have my last exam 
the Saturday after that, um, which is a school exam, and I haven't had any time to practice for it because I've been doing home exams. I don't understand how I'm supposed to have time to learn all of the things um, for that subject, but apparently that's something I'm supposed to do. Um, <laughs> let's deconstruct this fueled oven so that we can build a electric one instead. Can, can you go just do that right away so that I can put in the other oven and make sure that it gets built? Uh, production, electric stove, put it in there. Lovely. Um, cool. We've made a square. I'm not very good at designing bases to look nice. I did um, a run of RimWorld where I like built the whole base inside a mountain so they had to like mine out every single room that they wanted to live in which was kind of cool it was really slow progress and my mental breaks were very high because the whole area looked really ugly and there's like this beauty thing in the um game and so it's kind of you know, they didn't really like living in a cave and so they just went on mental breaks the whole time. Um, Rachel says, woo, she's alive. And honestly, Rachel, I can't, I'm not quite sure what you're referring to there. Sorry, please tell me what you're referring to so that I can properly respond to your comment. <laughs> Um, in the meantime, you're cleaning. That's just lovely. Thank you very much. Um, why are you not doing research? Oh, be sorry, because I didn't put you on research. I wanted to put you on research as well. Put you on research. Go do that when you don't have time or you don't have anything else to do. Um, cool. I need you to deconstruct this wall, actually, so that we can have more storage space because we desperately need more storage space right now. Also, this storage area is completely inaccessible right now, which is kind of stupid. Mm, let's put in a wooden door right there. Gracie's doing research. You're building that. Uh, yeah, Rachel, my, um, my assignment is pretty intense and I do have to make sure that I get the research right because this whole thing I don't know it's hard man it's hard and it's very it's not like very complicated theory but and it's even like inside a an area that I'm really interested in but they've just made the assignment so boring with the like compare this theory theory to this theory kind of assignment like if I would be able to do more and like include relevant examples and that sort of thing it might have been a fun assignment but now it's just not because I just have to do these two things and it's really boring. Uh, all right, so let's have a look. How big do we want our stockpile zone to be? Uh, we could have it be like 15. Then we have a good little room at the bottom here uh, that we can use for making things. We could, for instance, uh, in production, let's have a look, stone cutters table. This makes stones like this into blocks like this that we can actually build with and then we could get some nice floors and stuff in place, which would be really nice. Um, stone cutters table, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so we can get a couple of those in there. I should not have built that door there because that means I can't have workstations along that wall. So let's redo that right away. Sorry, Onasan, for making you do that twice. I apologize. Uh, there's a psychic drone. Every colonist of the female gender winces in pain. Oh no, that's really bad for us because we only have female colonists. That's not great at all. That's really bad. But okay, we'll deal. Basically, it just means that they're more, like, miserable than they were. Um, production. We needed a wooden stonecutter's table. I'm going to put one right there. Lovely. How are we doing? Okay, we need to add this bill. No, not a fine meal. We can't afford that. We need to add this thing again so that we keep
keep making food. We want to do 12. We want to pause when unsatisfied, when satisfied, and then unpause at six. Uh, we want the ingredients radius to be inside of our base. Yep, that looks good. Cool. There's a meteorite. Fun. A meteorite of steel. Let's mine that at some point. Is anyone even... Oh yeah, Lolita's doing mining. Hmm, interesting. Well, you'll go mine that when you feel like it. Is she gonna go do it right away? Yeah, she is. Cool, did not realize that I had anyone assigned to mining. How lovely. How are we doing on the research, Gracie? Still quite far off getting a battery and this thing isn't working right now because there is very little power. Uh, it's blocked by a tree. Oh, we should probably remove that tree. Uh, let's let's chop that tree down. Gracie, can you go do that right away, please? Because, yeah, chop that tree. Oh no! Onasan has a Onasan had wait. Onasan has a mental breakdown and is going to induce prisoners to escape. This happened because of poor mood. Oh no! Oh, she's recreation starved. I've completely forgotten to make recreational stuff, but she's now gonna basically open the door for Pelican, and he's gonna try and escape. Um, so Grace, I'm afraid you're gonna have to come here and block the door. Lolita, wherever you are, it's a terrible time for you to be all the way over there. Please come here and, you know, help because this is not good. Prison break. Yeah, dude, I know. I'm on it. So are you at? Oh, oh, Onasan is just defending himself. Oh, wow. Onasan, you absolute idiot. Again, I said himself. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Our prisoner has a gun. Our prisoner has a gun. He has a fucking gun. <laughs> I thought raids were going to be the bad thing with this, but apparently not. Um... Rachel asks if we are now safe and if any alien invasions are going to happen. No, I mean, alien invasions don't really happen in this game. It's just like we came from space and we, um, yeah, we crash landed here. But we do get attacked from the local tribes and that sort of thing. Um, and we get attacked by our own prisoners who then steal our guns and scare us a little bit. I'm not quite sure how this is gonna go. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have Grace come in here. How are you doing, Onasan? You're fine, you're just a little bit bruised. So hopefully when you get back up, you can help us with this whole situation. Okay, Gracie, you come over there. Oh my God, he escaped from there. I was prepared for him to come through the door. Oh no, oh, get him, get him, get him, get him. Pelican hit a trap. Yes, that's good. That is very good. Kill him, kill, kill him, kill, kill him. Gracie, help! Kill! Kill! Oh, thank god. And he's only downed as well. He is not actually dead. Uh, we need to rebuild that structure and I'm gonna make this into the prisoner room right now so that we can immediately um, capture him again. You are fine. You're fine. Okay, no one is dying. Only our prisoner is slightly dying. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. <laughs> That was scary for a second because he just stole our gun. Like he literally just stole our gun. Um, where is our gun by the way? Oh, it's up here. Okay, cool. Um, good, Lilita, you can stop that. Please, uh, yeah, tend to him. That's lovely. How are you doing? All good, yeah? All right, um, I'm gonna, yeah, just make that the normal bed. Um, good, that happened. Um, that definitely happened. <laughs> I think what we need to do right now actually is do a double wooden wall around this area. This base is quite big at the moment and it was a bit too easy for that um, guy to get through. Are you a guy? Yeah, you're male. Okay, yeah, it was too easy for him to get through that one wall. So we need to make sure um, that that doesn't happen again. Um, Rachel asks, where our prisoner got a gun from and he got a gun from Onasan who let him um she went in there and like said like hey you can escape because I feel like it and then Pelican was like fuck you dude and hit her in the face and she passed out and then he stole her gun which she's been carrying around so 
that's how he got a gun. Luckily, he didn't use it. He only used it to, like, hit us, the idiot, instead of shooting us in the face with a frickin', what is this, a ball action rifle? Yeah, he could have killed us immediately, but luckily, um, in Rim World, as soon as they get close, they start, like, fist fighting instead of shooting each other, which is pretty useful when your prisoner steals your gun. <laughs> yeah, so, that was fun. That was a little bit of drama right there. I also need to keep um, an eye on the time because I have to meet people at 10 o'clock, I think, tomorrow to do some more writing, um, which is going to be nice. It's nice to do writing with friends and motivate each other and all that, but it does mean that I have to get up early tomorrow. I'm hoping I can write a full thousand words tomorrow because my... Um, my dad is going to come to visit me on Saturday. He lands at half past 12, I think. So if I get a thousand words done tomorrow, then I only, most likely only have the conclusion left of the first draft. And then I can send it to my aunt, who's going to help me with it a little bit. And then I can just hang out with my dad for the rest of the Saturday, which would be so nice. And I feel like I deserve a break after this slightly stressful week. <laughs> Um, good. So everyone is off to bed. Just once again, double checking. No one is deadly ill. Oh, there's an infection. Great. So this guy is now infected. The question is, right, should we just let him die or should we save him? What were your skills again? Oh, yeah. You were the one with the really good shooting skills. Really good that you didn't get the chance to use that fucking gun. Um, yeah, no, we're definitely going to have to save you. Why are you trying to heal him? Oh, he has heat stroke. Oh, it's really warm out. Oh, no, that's not good. It's really warm out. Jesus Christ, like 40 um, degrees almost. Um, good. Lilita, could you come here and prioritize tending to him so that we hopefully maybe save him? That would be great. Can you move with heat stroke? Let's see, health. Consciousness weakened, moving weakened. Okay, you're still pretty much all right. How are we doing? Everyone's got heat stroke. Yeah, everyone's got heat stroke. That is kind of bad. <laughs> Let's see if we can do anything about that. Temperature. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a colder atmosphere in this hair room. That'd be good. Um, disease infection. Yep, I know. I already saw it. Grace is making food for us now that the oven is getting power from this thing, which is awesome. You're making our second wall as well, which is great. Um, the second wall also means that the uh, raiders will come here because this is our weak point um, in terms of walls and stuff so they won't try and like break in through our walls here they'll try and come around here and break through this door which is where we'll be ready for them oh my god Onasan seriously what is your problem oh yeah your recreation starved I keep forgetting about that we need to make some recreation um you need to um well, she is... What What did it say? Something like gonna attack everything she sees? Which isn't great, but at least she's outside of the colony right now. Can I, like, lock this door? What does this mean? Your colonists are allowed to interact with this. Yeah, don't interact with that. Maybe this um, thing will be fine that everyone just stays inside. That would be great. Uh... We'll see how it goes. Uh, <laughs> let's make some recreation while I remember it. Uh, recreation. So we need some horse pin things along here that people can do. And then we can grab a little chess table as well. Put a chess table here with some dining chairs along there. We also need a table. Um, let's see, we could get like a big table Oh, we just can't fit, like, a big table in the middle. That would have been really nice. Um, because I'm not sure they can actually access the, um, like, the side with the chairs here if there isn't, like, an extra bit of room. Let's see. 
we could get a small table, we could get like a two by two. We could also just extend this by one and again rebuild that freaking wall. Um, okay, let's do that. Let's build a wall here and here and let's build a door there and let's grab all of that. Let's grab all of that. Nope, let's deconstruct that and grab all of that and deconstruct that. Lovely. Um, are you just like being out here? That's good. If you don't come in because of the fact that this door is now... Oh, fuck. There's this hole. I forgot about that. Can you go and work on that wall so that Onasun doesn't come in and kill the whole colony? Because that would not be great. Um, could you also, like, build it while you're on the inside of the colony? There you go. Lovely. Okay. So, the colony is closed off. Hopefully Onasan can't get in since I've made her not be able to interact with this door. I hope. I really hope. Oh, Lolita, you piece of shit. Why are you out here? Um, unforbid that. Go in here right now. Thank you. Uh, and then lock that. Okay, there. Now you shouldn't be able to go anywhere. Oh, this is stressful. Uh, <laughs> stressful in a relaxing way, question mark? Um, kind of. Um, let's also then rebuild this here recreation. We still want there to be like a couple of horseshoe pins in this area. Lita, can you work on that right away? Because I think, I mean, there's, yeah, there's no more, um, what is this called again? Heat stroke. There's no more heat stroke, which is great. Uh, she's now immediately playing horseshoes because she was so desperate for fun. Sorry about that. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, right, the wooden table is gonna go here then, here. If it goes there, then we'll have things all around. Um, we can do it like there as well. Yeah, let's do it there. And then remove this passive cooler. And then we'll do cheers, cheers, chairs, all the way around like that. Lovely, and we're ready for a much bigger colony than what we already have, but that's fine. Um, are you done with the horseshoes, Lolita? Yeah. Um, you were const a constructor as well, right? Yeah. Will you do constructing, or is there too much hauling to do? There might be too much hauling to do, which is fair. I'd rather you do hauling, to be honest. Uh, I would also like it if we could cut all of the plants that are inside feels kind of stupid that we have plants inside our houses. Uh, <laughs> Onasan, if you just like stop being on a mental break right now, there is now recreation for you, okay? There you go. Go eat, go get some recreation. It'll be great. Or just fall asleep in the middle of the world. That's fine too. Whatever. Oh, right, yeah, of course, because you can't get through the door. Sorry. Let's do that, and then you go and play some horseshoes. Good. That was intense. Uh, Lolita, can you prioritize building that as well so that there's two places for people to play horseshoe? Lovely. Now they're playing horseshoe. How cute is that? A uh, chunk of spacecraft has landed. Let's deconstruct that, see what kind of cool parts we can get from it. Cool. So apart from all the mental breaks, I think we're doing well. <laughs> I keep saying that, but you know, we're doing all right at least. We're doing all right. Uh, Gracie is just eating raw uh, rice right now, which isn't great, but can you do cooking? Yeah, there you go. You're doing cooking, cool. Very, very nice. So how long do these actually last? Spoils in four days. Okay, so we can make four days worth of food, which is six times four maths. Um, oh, sorry. 24, I assume? Yeah, unpause at 12, please. There you go. Close that. Okay, then she will always have 25, 24 meals, which should be exactly the limit of um, time before it. Pelican has died! Oh no! Pelican! I completely forgot about your infection. 
Oh no, I had such high hopes for you, my friend. And now everyone is gonna have a freaking debuff because a fucking prisoner died in our care. Ugh, Lolita, can you please go and consume him? No. I would like you to please, um, hang on, let's make this priority low. And then I would like you to pretty please prioritize holding him away from our base so that we don't get really depressed by seeing a corpse constantly. Thank you. <laughs> um, good. Well, goodbye, Pelican. It was lovely to know you and be prison breaked by you. We had good times, but sadly, I completely forgot that you existed and that you had an infection. So, I apologize. <laughs> yeah, not great. Okay, well, Onasan is back. All she needed was a little bit of recreation, which I'd completely forgotten about being a thing. So, I'm, I mean, I got it eventually, which is good at least. She's building our table as well um, and everyone is gonna be getting let's see yeah eight without a table sadness as well so she's sweaty awful bedroom um can we do something with the bedroom thing get some nice get like a little dresser in everyone's rooms dressers mm. what else we can get like a potted plant in the corner that might be nice Get a potted plant in all of these corners. I just realized that these passive coolers are in the wrong place compared to the other ones, but whatever. Uh, wooden table as well, so that they have their own little desk. Might be cute. Like that. Uh, yeah, that means that this thing is now in the way. Ugh. Always having to rebuild stuff because you were stupid. Literally my life. Uh, you guys deconstruct. Uh, Onasan, once you've finished eating, can you deconstruct that and deconstruct that, please? Thank you. And then I need to build a table there. Yeah, table there with a chair there. Lovely. And then a wooden potted plant not in front of the door. That would have been weird. There you go. Lovely. Um... We have our table. Onasan is building the rest of the chairs. I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be good. It's kind of sad when you get a text from the group of people that you're riding with at half past nine in the evening, because um, that means that someone is still doing writing at half past nine in the evening on their exam, which... I just can't do. Like, I don't have the motivation for that shit. <laughs> but good for them. Good for them. Okay, we're cutting all the grass inside. That is great. We do have a lot of wood as well. And like, I was going to say even more lying about, but that's just not true. Um, but yeah, we have like a thousand wood in this um, stockpile right now, which is really cool. Uh, there's a lot of it. We might just build some floors. Uh, what I also might do, do we have, oh no, we don't have the floors that I wanted. Um, let's see, sterile, sterile materials, um, which are really great for in the kitchen because that lessens the chance of food poisoning and that sort of thing. Um, so we'll have to research that after Gracie has finished researching our batteries, which is taking quite a long time. Um, uh, but better late than never, I guess. Why did you send me bees in the chat, Rachel? <laughs> I'm confused and I also can't read the text under the bees, but thank you for the bees. That's very kind, <laughs> I think. Um, right, should we try and do some more power stuff? We could build a cooler and cool this area down um that might be good 
do a cooler and then do a vent as well so that we can vent out this area if it gets too warm because this cooler will cool down this area but then heat up this area which is great for winter um well in winter this is just not going to do anything because this area is going to be cool anyway um but yeah it's great for like that in between time this area will be heated up on its own but it's not great when it's like now 25 degrees outside and we don't want it to be even warmer inside um but we shall see and then we also need power through there like that i like going through the walls with the power because if you go just anywhere it shows on the map where the power lines are which just doesn't look very nice and i don't think it shows at all through the walls no it doesn't so yeah i prefer that it's another raid uh a group of pirates from the trespassers have arrived they are attacking immediately okay how many people just the one he's got a gun though Ed has got a gun. He is ready for us. Okay, let's come down here. I feel like that's um, quicker with the raids than I'm used to as well. So maybe that's just it, that the raids come quicker on this higher difficulty. I'm not quite sure. We shall see, and hopefully we shall kill him. I like that Gracie, of all people, with her fucking knife is the one that's in the middle. <laughs> that's useful. Okay, so Ed has been shot once already. Twice. Uh, he's not gonna get even make it up to us, is he? Maybe he is. Oh, no, there we go. He's just immediately dead, I think. Yeah, he died. Great. Well, we have, um, another gun, which means Gracie, congratulations, go and equip that gun. You'll be more useful in battle from now on. I love it. Thank you, Gracie. Yeah, I know, I know, it's a dead body. We're gonna move him, don't worry about it. Um... Cool. Well, that raid went really well. I think what we also need to do is we need to move these rocks, but it's because it seems like um, the raids, the raiders, sorry, want to come around here and like hide behind these rocks for cover, which we don't want them to. And we also want to cut the plants around here so that they can't use the plants for cover as well. Noise, noise. Uh, Gracie is continuing doing research. Everyone else is doing stuff. What are you doing? You are, it doesn't say hauling, you're building. Nice. I really like this little mod, by the way, that shows you what everyone's doing and their moods and stuff. I mean, I completely forget about it, so I forget about their moods, but it's very useful when you do look at it. Like, on a son right now, he's in a great mood. She's loving life, compared to how she was feeling earlier, at least. <laughs> Um, let's get this wooden wall in place as well. Let's just build that so that we have a double wall system. Um, so just in case they break through this door, we'll sh we're slightly more protected from raids, which is always nice. Uh, what else? We need to build a little bit more recreation, I feel. We need a chess table. Um, oh, flash storm. Oh no. I can't remember what that means. Hang on. Let's deconstruct the animal sleeping spot, put a wooden one in there. A freak localized flash storm is striking a small area with lightning. This can cause massive fires. Brilliant. Um, well, it's literally as far away from us as you can get on this map, I feel. So I think we'll be all right. Good, good, good. You're back to bed. You're doing that. Why is there nothing here right now? And why is this all weird? Oh, right, it's because... Can... Onasan, can you please just deconstruct these two traps for us? That would be very useful. Thank you. Then I can ask you to build copies of the walls in here as well. Lovely. I have to stop saying that in that accent. <laughs> Oh, transport pod crash. A chief engineer named Sarai is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If she survives, good, we're keeping with the all female colony here. Um, uh, if she survives the impact, she will be badly wounded. She's not affiliated with any faction. You can rescue her and hope she joins freely or capture her for recruitment or slavery purposes. All right, we will try and rescue her. Uh, Gracie, get up, 
Rescue her. Oh, right. There's no, um, wait, no reachable non-prisoner bed. Right. Let's make that into a medical bed because apparently we need that to rescue you. Let's rescue you. Let's see. It might take us the six hours just to go and grab you because you're really far away. But we'll try and hope. Death in five hours now. Yeah. Not sure we're going to do it. She's probably just going to be able to make it in there and then we'll have another debuff of person died in our camp. Okay, let's see. Death in three hours. Gracie, we can do it. Tend to her. Uh, a friendly AI from your past. Oh, right. This is um, basically our ship telling us that, hey, the ship is still fine. If you can build a ship and get it into space, we can be saved uh, and we need to go find our AI, which is over here. Uh, which is really, really far away from where we are, which is here. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, if you want to basically end the game, you have to slowly travel all the way to this location and find your AI, which I have actually never done. So maybe that's something I can do in a series at some point. That'd be great. Um, how are we doing with saving this prisoner? Death in three hours. Death in seven hours, okay. Going well. Still death in seven hours. Come on, Gracie, you can do it. I believe death in 14 hours. Okay, I think this person is gonna be fine. And then hopefully they'll join our colony um, when they get better. Let's have a look at her bio. Oh, she's a really good constructor. constructor. That's great. I guess that makes sense she's, since she is a chief engineer. Um, she's incapable of animals. <laughs> All right. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. You like animals, though. How are you incapable of animals when you like animals? I'm confused. I don't know. Uh, we'll just leave it. How are you doing health-wise? Yeah, you're doing all right. Good. I hope you will join our colony when you wake up. That would be lovely. We should probably also set this thing to um, make stone. Uh, there's a mad squirrel, because of course there is. Let me see. Let's make any stone for now. Let's do it until we have 400 and pulls at 200. Yeah, just make whatever. And the radius shall be quite small, like that big or something. Um, and then we really just want like a stockpile of stone to be like there. Because then if we priority critical, clear all, we want stone chunks. Because then this is the, the blocks that will be made. Lovely. Um, there was a mad squirrel, right? Uh, there is the mad squirrel indeed. Let's just gather everyone in a defensive position again, uh, and then I'm sure we'll be fine dealing with a freaking squirrel. Come on, squirrel. Come get us if you want to. There we go. That was not very hard. Good job, everybody. Good job. And Gracie is immediately taking the squirrel to kill it. Or not to kill it, but to butcher it. Good. Colony is working well. Um, who should do um, the smithing? Is that what it is? No, it is a part of something else. Is it crafting? Yes, stone cutting. Onasan is not bad at it. You can do that after. Well, he is bad at it, but everyone's bad at it. You can do crafting after construction. There's always construction to do though, so you're never gonna get to that, but all right, we can try for now at least. Um, another thing that we also haven't done at all is uh, allowed areas. Let's have a look. Animals. Yeah, let's create a new area. Call it anim inside colony. Okie dokie. And then we'll make that area there. Oh, hang on. Not that. There we go. And then we'll restrict little Fred here to stay inside the colony at all times so that he doesn't get like accidentally killed by a freaking surprise raid or something. Because that would be really quite annoying. 
because, you know, I like little Fred. Um, maybe we should try and train him as well for as much as we can. Follow Master while Master is doing field work. Follow Master while the Master is drafted. And release. Um, yeah, so release is like attack when there is um, attack happening. So Fred could help us with potential raids and that sort of thing, which would be quite useful. Um, cool. As you can see, we're getting our blocks in here. And whoever ends up doing this will go and do block-related things. Which is great. Um, Sarius joined our group after being rescued. That is amazing. That is great. We have an extra colonist. Um, let's see. Um, oh, and you're really good at crafting. That is perfect. What is... Why are you all red? I don't know why you're all red. This colonist is not able to do any work of this type because of his health condition. His health condition? You're a female. What is your health condition? Blood loss, frail. Uh, oh, manipulation, none. Because of blood loss, I assume. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, let's set you up here. We want you to do crafting. Uh, yeah, I'll just put you off crafting as well. Crafting, and then when there's no crafting to do, you can clean. And if there's no cleaning to do, uh, you can do research, I guess. That'd be great. For now, you're just going to go eat, I assume. Yeah, she's <laughs> going to go straight to eating. Um, Onasan, can you very quickly just deconstruct this wall? Because... I don't like it being there. And could you also very quickly build this door? Did you not build the door? Or are you doing it? No, you're not building the door. Please just build the door. Oh, we've got this thing in place. That's good. Um, that means I want the target temperature, please, to be not minus nine, Christ. I want it to be zero degrees so that this stuff gets frozen. Right now it doesn't have any power, but It'll get power eventually. Um, visitors! A group from the Southeastern Azur Common Federation are visiting the colony. Oh, there's quite a lot of you guys. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Um, we also need to expand this thing so that I can see you. There's a party going on! Gracie's throwing a party! Um, that reminds me, I haven't set down where I want you guys to have parties. But if you want to have parties, please do them there. And if you guys want to get married, Actually, if you want to get married, do it here. There. And if you want to have a party, do it here. <laughs> I like that that's a thing, by the way. This is just like, make wherever you want them to have their space of party. And then also, if someone wants to get married, they can do it there. But then again, I don't know if they do female marriages in this game. Or like, gay marriages in this game. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember actually so who knows who knows um you guys are just chatting getting to know each other gracie can you deconstruct that door because no one ever seems to do what i tell them uh, and also could you build that as well that'd be very useful thank you and can you deconstruct that and that and that and that and that thank you and then also makes no sense that this stuff is here uh <laughs> for now let's cancel that and cancel that and then we need to build that again, again. Uh, recreation, a wooden chest table, and we want furniture and some dining chairs. And then we could also go for a little potted plant in the corner. Lovely. Oh, what a beautiful little colony we've created. I like that these guys are just like, we're not going to go inside your colony. Can someone deal with the fire, please? That would be very useful. Thank you. Thank you, sorry. You're already proving extremely useful. Are we still not doing this power cable thing? Could we just sort that out? You're making that, the vent, which is great. I am gonna keep that open. Uh, for now because it's really warm outside and we need it to be open <laughs> actually let's if we close it does this mean since we have a passive cooler
does that mean that this area is going to get cooler if we keep it closed? No, not at all. Um, no, it's just getting warmer. Okay, flick that again. Have it get cooler. All oh, right, it's because this thing is now working. So now it's really freaking warm in this room and we need to hold that door open, I think, to control it because that was like 40 degrees in that room, which is not great. Um, I might have to rebuild this to over here so that it just goes straight into um, the outdoors instead. Yeah, that is not great. Hmm. Yeah, because now people are just not going to use this room because it's too warm in this room. <laughs> and it's also just not able to get the um, temperature down, which is interesting. Is it just because it's too warm outside? Probably. I mean, it is in the middle of the summer, so that doesn't make sense. Hmm. We'll keep an eye on it. It's 35 degrees now, so it's not as bad. It's still really freaking warm, <laughs> but it's not as bad. We'll get another passive cooler in here Um, see if that helps. Because these rooms are really quite nice and cool. 17 degrees. Um, yeah, let's make this non-medical as well. There's a heat wave! Great. I thought we were kind of already in a heat wave. Um, okay, then we definitely need to build a copy of this here instead. Uh, and deconstruct that, please. And then we need passive coolers absolutely everywhere. Passive cooler, passive cooler. I'm gonna keep an eye on these rooms, see what happens. Right now the temperature is still only like 30 degrees, but it is in the middle of the night, so be interesting to see what it is tomorrow morning. We're also low on food right now, but I think these things are almost ready to be harvested. We might just have to harvest it a little bit early. Oh god, okay, 37 degrees, 38 degrees, uh, 39 degrees. Ah, uh, it's not good. Uh, Lolita, can you please deconstruct this cooler? Thank you. Uh, Lolita, can you please construct that cooler? <laughs> yeah, it's really warm outside. These rooms are still fine though, so I don't think we need another um, passive cooler in there. Why don't you have any power? You should have plenty of power. It's probably because of the wind is too low. Um, again, I want the target uh, the target temperature to be zero degrees. If you can do that, I mean, I know it's a heat wave, so you probably won't be able to do that all on your own. Um, but at least you're trying. At least you're trying. Yeah. Uh, Onasan, can I have you come here and not clean the room? Why would you do that? Uh, you need wood. Oh, we've run out of wood. That's not good. Uh, Let's start chopping down some more trees around the place then, please. Yeah, Rachel, a heat wave is exactly what I needed right now. We were already struggling with the temperature. It's 51 degrees outside. 51. I would literally die. And even with the passive coolers, it's 22 degrees inside the bedrooms, which is kind of insane. Yeah, everyone is really warm and starting to get heat wave. Um, so we need to get some kind of cool uh, air in here. Let's close this uh, vent so that we can start cooling this area down with the passive coolers. Lilita, can you please work on the passive cooler? Um, that would be really good. Thank you, is that helping anything? Still 46 degrees. We also need to construct that wall um, so that this room can cool down on its own. 43 degrees. I'm gonna build another one. Screw it. I'm just gonna pe keep building passive coolers until this place gets nice and chill because we need somewhere for them to be. I mean, they can still be in their rooms because these passive coolers are actually doing a really good job. Um, but I would like the main like area to be nice and cool too. That's what we like to have a nice central area for everyone to hang out. 31 degrees now. So I think with this last passive cooler, we should be good. 29 degrees. Okay, this is going down, that's good. 
yeah, you can see as soon as they get into their um, beds, their temperature here goes way down immediately. But yeah, 46 degrees outside. But nice and cool inside, which is good. 22 degrees in here now. This thing is struggling to get below uh, freezing, but that makes sense since it's so warm outside. And um, what's the temperature here? Okay, now this place is 17 degrees and it, that's actually pretty cold. Um, but I guess that's a nice chill when it's 44 degrees outside. I don't know, it's something. Good. I really want us to get a battery before um, before I stop for the day. I'm just going to move this thing over here because I just realized that I wanted the battery to be there. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to stop streaming in not too long, but it would be really great if we got a battery sorted. Um, if we actually make you stop doing crafting stop doing cleaning and only doing research, my friend. I would really like it if you could get that research done and we can build a battery so that we can start saving up energy when this thing is producing a lot of energy. Um, it's still blocked by that fucking tree. Onisan, can you please cut that tree down? Because that's kind of ridiculous. That's been a thing for so long now. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. There you go. Okay, now this thing should start making a little bit more power for us, which is good. Um, this place is nice and cool. All of these areas. This is warmer than this area for some reason. We're not quite sure why, but okay. Good. Why not? Yeah, as soon as they go outside, they get really warm and then they have to go inside to feel better. It's 35 degrees in here, even with the two passive coolers. That's kind of insane. 50 degrees inside this room. Christ. 58 degrees outside. Oh my god, I would die. I would literally just die. That is insane. But nice and cool inside the bedrooms. Oh, we've finished batteries! We've finished researching batteries. Let's start researching sterile materials. And let's go into power, battery, Build a battery right there. Onisan, my friend. You went into a daze as soon as I grabbed you. Great. Um, daze. Wandering around in a psychotic state. This happened because of poor mood, because you're sweltering hot. Yeah, that does make sense. And now you're just going to get hotter because you're in a mental, on a mental break. Um, my friend, could you first make that passive cooler? Because it's really warm in that room. And Gracie as well, actually. Could you make that one? No? Can you make that one? Lolita, can you then work on the battery for me, please? That'd be great. Get that battery in. Yay! Nice. Okay, now this thing is going to start storing battery, or storing battery, storing power for us. Which hopefully means that this thing can keep up a little bit more and cool down this room. Which would be really nice. Colonist needs rescue. Is it because you're too warm, my friend? Lolita, go save him. No, Lolita, go save him, please. It's probably because you're too warm. Yeah, extreme heat stroke. You'll be fine. Just need to come inside and cool off. There you go. Lovely. Nice. Okay, well, everyone's in bed. And I think I'm going to end the stream here. We've done pretty well um, so far. We've got a nice little colony started. And um, who knows, maybe we'll play a little bit more of this in the future. Um, but for now, I really need to go to bed, get ready for tomorrow and prepare my brain for another day of <laughs> intense writing. Um, but this was really nice, nice and relaxing to just play a little bit of games with you guys while my brain kind of calmed down after a very intense day. Um, I hope you enjoyed following along to RimWorld. I think it's a really good game and I definitely want to do a series of it on the channel as well. Maybe a series where we try and... Um, we try and actually do the whole AI thing and build a ship and stuff since I still haven't done that. Um, that might be fun. But yeah, <laughs> enough chatting. I am gonna end 
this stream now. Um, thank you very much for joining me and I will see you all next time. Bye!